Hey, Sea Wolves fans, Nick Rush here, and today we are with Jason Livery of Livery Yard Studios. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for coming. So, you make goaltender masks across the National Hockey League. Are there any guys up there you've recently been working with? Well, um, currently there's there's not so many uh, masks that I painted this year. A lot of the guys are in the, NA, or the AHL this year or the KHL, um, but pretty much every goaltender in the NHL has had a mask painted by me at one time or another, whether it was this season, last season, or whenever, but I pretty much painted everybody. <laughs> now you've done so much for the Seawolves this year, and one of those things is welcoming the Seawolves goalies into your home through the season. How rewarding has that experience been? Um, it's really cool. Uh, you know, being doing goalie stuff for you know almost 30 years, uh, having goalies actually stay with us, it's, it's, uh, it's been fun. And then I know they get a kick out of it because this is kind of like, they're like a kid in the candy store. Hey, I get to stay with a mask painter and see all the memorabilia and all the cool stuff. And uh, uh, so it's, it's fun. It's fun. I enjoy it. Your first NHL mask went to Brian Elliott, leading you into your big break. How had that opportunity come to be with him? Okay, well, um, I, we, my wife and I, uh, she's in the, in the military. We had our, our first duty station in St. Louis, and um, that's kind of where this whole thing kind of evolved, uh, painting goalie masks, because I was doing motorcycles and things like that on TV and, and so on, and um, you know, we had to move all the time. So when we got to St. Louis, I, uh, I started painting goalie masks at, uh, at rinks for you know youth hockey and stuff. I set up a little 10 by 10, have a table out with a display, and um, I was just kept doing different types of masks. And uh, a lot of the equipment uh, equipment shops that, that were in that area, I, I made friends with. And one of the uh, guys that worked at Johnny Max, I think it was at the time, uh, got a job as an assistant equipment manager for the St. Louis Blues. Well, at the time, Brian Elliott was the backup uh, for Yaroslav Halak. And um, he had gotten a mask that he just was not happy with. He, he didn't like the paint job from the guy that he was using at the time. And um, it was kind of last minute. And he's like, and my, my buddy told me, hey, you know, told him I got a guy that's local. You want me to give him a call and you know, see what he says? So he gave me a shot. He's like, hey, you want to do a mask for Brian Elliott? And I'm like, yeah, of course, you know. So I drove up to a practice rink. I met with Brian. He went over his ideas. I took his mask. I stripped it all down, repainted it stayed up all night did it that day brought it back the next day because i was so excited to do it and uh he loved it he was just like oh he was he just fell in love and um it just so happened we were in the the locker room at the time and yaroslav halak was coming through and he was looking at the mask at the same time and he's like oh can you do a portrait of pavel dimitri on the back of my goalie mask and that was his good friend that uh died in that plane crash with the Slovakian mm -hmm. uh team and um, so I took his back plate with me home and I painted it. I did this really killer portrait of Paul Dimitri on the back and um, I brought it back and he just, I mean, you can see it tears, everybody in the blues organization, cause they all knew who, you know, Pablo and I mean, people are like, oh my God. And they were, you know, so upset, but happy to see it. And it went viral. It was on the cover of the Slovakian newspaper in Slovakia. I've had every news outlet you can imagine calling me the next day. And from there, it just just blew up like crazy. And, and it's now I'm, I'm here where I'm at. If there is one athlete you could make a mask for, who would it be? Um, that's a good question. Um, I probably would say I would love to do one for uh, Eddie Belfour. Uh, reason being is because obviously I'm a Chicago native. Um, and Belfour's eagle mask was probably the, one of the most iconic masks that um, that people know. And it's kind of what got me into painting goalie masks because I thought it was just the coolest thing in the world. And and uh, I would love an opportunity to maybe paint my rendition of it. You know, the original painter, Todd Miska up in uh, Minnesota did a phenomenal job. He set the bar on that. And uh, just being able to maybe do my rendition of an Eddie Eagle mask would be, would be awesome. We hear it all the time, how hockey is a small world. And the funny thing is, you actually knew Seawolves goalie Blake Wyrick before this season. What is the story behind that? Well, um, years ago, I was do, I've been doing a lot of uh, masks for USA Hockey. And uh, Blake was one of their goalies at the time. And, um, you know, yeah, so we just kind of 
it, it was, you know, we kind of lost touch over, over time. You know, he's done just with his career and I'm just doing my thing. And then uh, when it came up, when Joe told me, hey, we got Blake coming in, I was like, Oh my God, you know, I did Blake's mask when he was in juniors, you know, and uh, so I reached out to Blake and he's like, oh my God. And so we just, it just went, went from there and, and with the housing situation, everything that was going on and I'm like, come stay with us, you know, and it was just, it's just been awesome. <laughs> you also create helmets in the National Football League. What kind of names have you served up there? Oh, you name it. Uh, the, the, the biggest, the biggest guys that I do, um, are actually, I paint for the actual NFL organization too. So, um they'll contact me and I'll do specialty helmets for them. Uh, like uh, we did one for um, uh, all the equipment manager of the year awards, you know, so whenever the NFL, they go to Vegas and they have their award, award ceremonies and stuff and they'll present, you know, whoever team of the year, equipment staff of the year or whatever, I'll paint helmets for those and give them to them. Um, we did one from Ozzie Newsom, a, a specialty, uh, one from, uh, from the NFL, they presented it to him as being like a general manager of the year or whatever it was. But uh, that kind of led me into doing some stuff for the players. Um, I do a lot of stuff with Tom Brady. Um, I do a lot of stuff with like uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, you name it. Uh, all kinds of different different players and uh, Brett Favre. Um, and a lot of times what they'll do is they'll take those masks and those helmets and they'll auction them off at different charity events and things like that. And so it's pretty cool. Going forward into future seasons, what kind of growth do you hope to see in the partnership between Livery Yard Studios and the Seawolves? Um, I definitely want to see it keep continuing. Um, I, I love having hockey here. You know, like I said, we, my wife and I moved around a lot. So, and luckily, we've been in, in major cities where I've had clients or the NHL teams and stuff. So we've always had hockey around us. But uh, when we got here, we didn't have any hockey except for Pensacola. And I was like, oh. And then finally we got the, the team going here and I'm like, I, I just want to jump on board. I want to help. I want to do whatever I can. I want to see it just keep growing and growing and growing. And uh, not so much for me uh, as far as my business goes. I mean, I'm pretty much self-sufficient, but um, I want to see our, our team and, you know, grow and be successful and for, for many years. And I just want to be a part of it and have hockey team to, to cheer for. All right, Jason, thank you for joining me today and uh, looking forward to some good work coming up in the future here. Awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone, that's Jason Livery here on Seawolves Digital Media.